Hi, my name is Tatiana. I'm the owner of Tatiana Hair Extensions, uh, based in Kensington, London. And today, in our videos, we will be talking about hair, aftercare and hair extensions. Hi, I would like to show you in this video today how to wash long hair. The common mistake the girls make when they're washing their long hair is when they sort of put the hair forward and wash it in the bath, as opposed to washing it under the shower when the water goes uh, according to the cuticle growth. Um, it's very important uh, to do that because long hair can tangle and it might be very difficult to untangle it afterwards. So just make, it sh make sure uh, whatever you do, you do it uh, from the roots to the ends. So the water will go from the top to the bottom and when you apply all the products including shampoo and conditioner, you start massaging gently from the uh, top going to the bottom. Uh, what we will uh, be using is uh, shampoo for normal hair. I um, really like the shampoo, it's rosemary mint. A beautiful ingredient. Uh, rosemary promotes the hair growth and ensures your hair grows healthy. The first step will be to wet the hair. Uh, don't make the water too hot. It should be sort of a warm temperature. Just make sure you uh, wet the hair properly. It will help to distribute the products uh, evenly. Normally for mid-length to long hair you will need about a tablespoon of shampoo, so it's a few pumps. About three, four, say. And concentrate mostly on the roots of the hair as opposed to the ends. We can just re rinse the ends, but it's the roots where you need to basically um, wash properly. And just with even sort of gentle motions, massage shampoo into the scalp. To make sure you cover all the areas. And just smooth the shampoo down toward, towards the ends. Don't mess it up like that, just, just basically with a nice smooth Now we'll have to rinse that. We have to rinse it properly, as well as um, before. Just take your time and rinse the shampoo properly before we start conditioning. The next stage will be conditioning. The common mistake uh, with conditioning uh, is quite a lot of um, girls, uh, they start putting conditioner all over, including the roots of the hair. Normally, the conditioner is required only on the ends on the of the hair, uh, from the mid uh, length down. Uh, the scalp, our scalp produces a lot of oils. There is no need to put conditioner on di directly on the scalp. So that the ends, the dry ends, where the hair is long, requires quite a lot of aftercare. Uh, you could use also leave-in conditioners or a bit of oil afterwards. But make sure you just sort of squeeze the excess moisture from the hair. It will help us to, to condition it better. The same way, a few pumps of conditioner. Depending on um, how, stuff, how dry your hair is and how long this long hair, let's just start a section by section applying it on the hair. Uh, there is, uh, well, there is an opinion quite, uh, quite a few um, girls using a white tooth comb to comb the conditioner through. I believe that uh, the hair is mostly vu vulnerable and um, prone to breakage when, when it's wet, so it's probably better. I believe it's better to just put uh, conditioner, distribute conditioner gently with your fingers as opposed to the comb or brush uh, to avoid any breakage. 
We can just leave it for a couple of minutes and after that we can rinse it. Um, the trick is to use slightly colder water when you uh, rinse your hair for the last time after you rinse conditioner, just to close the cuticles and to make the hair shinier. Now we'll just squeeze the excess water from the hair and uh, we'll wrap the towel around the hair and the ideal option would be just to let it let the towel on the hair for maybe about 15 to 20 minutes to uh, let the excess moisture absorbed by the towel and after that you could dry it if you have time to to spare 20 minutes to let it sort of soak in, uh, in the towel And that was how to wash long hair.